I'm Frank. In this video, we're going to be changing the rear differential in a 2016 Mercedes GLE 350. The rear differential is often neglected by the uh, do-it-yourselfers, um, and I don't know why, but it usually seems to be something that is put on a low burner or maybe somebody doesn't really know how to do it, but we're going to show you how. To change the differential fluid, get two brand new plugs. They're not that expensive and you can get them from FCP Euro. You're also going to need a, a 16 millimeter uh, hex to uh, fit into these plugs to take them out. So 16 millimeter and two new plugs and you'll be uh, ready to go. To change the differential fluid you're going to need to get a pump and two, uh, two liters of uh, 7590. I'm using Mobile One. It um, has limited slip uh, friction modifier included, uh, which is what you want. So two of those pump your 16 millimeter socket and your plugs. So here's your differential. Right here is your fill plug. Put that around. And right here is your drain plug. Always remove your fill plug first. If you have any type of difficulty getting the fill plug out, you don't want to have drained all the fluid and not be able to put it back in. So always do your fill plug, remove it first so that you know that you can get something back in. All right, the fill drain plug is out and now I'm gonna take out the uh, drain. Make sure you have something underneath it because it's just like an oil change. Stuff's going to come, oil's going to come uh, pouring out. When you have all the uh, old gear oil out, you're going to put a new plug back in. It's going to get torqued to 50 newton meters. Alright, once you have your pump on your uh, gear oil, you're going to put it inside this uh, fill and then start pumping away. Now you'll pump until you start seeing fluid come out. Once you start seeing fluid come out, then you know that you're uh, full and you can put your plug back in. All right, you can see it start to drip out. So we're full. All right, and now the fill one is in and torqued to 50 newton meters. We're all done. So changing the differential fluid on the Mercedes is very easy to do and something that I typically do with every oil change and um, I would encourage you to add that to your uh, service routine as well.